So it's new iPhone day. And you know what that means? It means for me, I've upgraded from my iPhone 13 Pro and I have upgraded to the iPhone 15 Pro and I've gone for the blue titanium finish. I was gonna go for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, but due to availability issues, I decided to go for the iPhone 15 Pro version. So this is the 128 gigabyte version. Now I don't usually run out of space on my 128 gigabyte version iPhone 13 Pro Max. I usually film or take shots and then I transfer them straight away to my Mac mini or delete them. So having the entry level 128 gigabyte version isn't really an issue for me. But what I am looking forward to is the saving directly to external storage with this. So I'll definitely be testing that out on this phone. So let's, this is, I've just had this delivered probably in the last five minutes. So I'm really looking forward to opening it up and trying out the iPhone 15 Pro. I am particularly looking forward to using the Dynamic Island because as you know, with the iPhone 15, it's still got the notch. So for me, that's another big upgrade for me, the notch. And of course, moving to USB-C. So let's get opening the iPhone 15 Pro. I do like opening an Apple product. They just seem to have got boxes Oh, there it is. The blue titanium finish of the iPhone 15 Pro. I've heard from other videos that I've seen that the, the colors really don't do it justice when you see them on videos like this, but just in person, it's just, it just looks really, I think it looks really nice. This blue titanium finish so that you, there you can see. So it might not be doing it any justice with that, but that does look, really nice and if i put it next to the iphone 13 pro that um pacific blue you can just see probably doesn't look blue on there probably looks more grayish but it does look in in my hand it does look really nice and another feature is that titanium finish on the edges compared to that stainless steel finish on the iphone 13 and the one that was present on the iphone 14 as well now visually i prefer the stainless steel on it but in terms of fingerprints, this is a horrible fingerprint magnet. So it'll be interesting to see what the difference this titanium finish does for it. I mean, I can already see just initially there's a few fingerprints on it, but they're a little bit more hidden compared to how it looked like on the stainless steel finish of the iPhone 13 Pro. But I'll be having cases on these anyway, so I'll give them a quick shine and then I'll put the case on immediately just because I'm so wary of just dropping the phone. It's just, even though there's better protection, the ceramic shield on the display, I'm still wary of just dropping my phone. So I want it to be as protective as I can. So stay tuned to the channel where I will be reviewing a few cases that I've got. And I've already got those cases lined up. So as soon as we finish this video, I'm gonna pop one of those cases on and then hopefully it's gonna be as protective as it can be. Let's do that other thing that Apple do really well. Let's peel the, ah. Oh. And also we've got the action button. So we say farewell to the mute switch that has been on the iPhone since the first, very first iPhone. And now we have the action button on the Pro models. The standard 15 and 15 plus still have that mute switch, but for the Pros, they have the action button. I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do with this action button yet, but when I do, I'll let you know. The reason why I picked the blue titanium was I felt like blue, I like blue, I've got blue on my Apple Watch Series 7, so, I mean, it is a different blue, but it's a nice blue. And because this has got the A17 Pro chip in it, I'll be definitely be looking at playing some of those high-level AAA games to take advantage of what this phone can do. So what else we get in the box? We get the braided USB-C to USB-C cable. It's definitely strange looking at a USB-C cable because I'm, I'm sure we all are used to the USB-C to lightning cable. We get the normal literature and the white Apple sticker, which I've never used. And because my version is a non-USA version, I've still got a SIM eject at all because I'll have to be putting my old SIM from my iPhone 13 Pro into the iPhone 15 Pro. And you can see the SIM card slot is there. But this phone is definitely a lot more comfortable to hold. Even in these few minutes that I've been holding the phone, it's a lot more comfortable. I haven't got the pain on my little finger that I'd have from holding even this phone for a couple of seconds. And I do feel this, this phone just feel, 
considerably weighty compared to this, but I don't know whether it's because I'm used to the weight of this and just having something new in the hand that is a little bit lighter. Now during the keynote, Apple have said that they are very invested in the future and this iPhone is a good example of that when it's made out of that 100% recycled aluminium. The titanium band around the phone is bonded onto the new internal aluminium frame. And then the back glass and the screen, hopefully, if they do break, they're gonna cost us a lot less to get repaired. So that's a good thing from Apple. So on the front of this iPhone 15, we've got the screen, which has that advanced Super Retina XDR display with ProMotion. Now you only get the ProMotion on the Pro phones. So that's gonna give you refresh rates of up to 120 Hertz, giving you that, those exceptional graphics that when you're playing those games, when you're playing Assassin's Creed, when you're playing a Resident Evil and other games like that, to give you the best immersive experience when you play. And as I mentioned before, we've got that dynamic island, which I'm looking forward to as I've upgraded from the iPhone 13 Pro, which has that notch. And as well as the dynamic island, you've got the always on display. Now some people didn't like it last year because it was still wearing down the battery and it's not quite the always on display that we're used to. So it's a sort of Apple refined always on display. Do it their way. So it'll be interesting to see how I feel about the always on display on the phone. Because I do like taking photos, I'm gonna be looking forward to the pictures and the videos that you can take with the iPhone 15 Pro and comparing it to some of the photos that you can take with the iPhone 13 Pro, just to see just how much better or worse this is compared to that phone. And then the main feature of the phone, the main difference this year is USB-C. It doesn't look, it doesn't look right seeing USB-C on an iPhone. I mean, I'm still, I'm just tailored to seeing lightning on an iPhone, but USB-C, it, it's the future. Although they may have been forced into doing it now and they may not have wanted to do it for a while, but it's here now, so we've got to embrace it. And as I mentioned before in the intro, I am looking forward to that saving to external device when you're filming. So that's one of my bugbears with this, you know, I'm filming, I used to film everything on my iPhone 13 Pro for this channel, but then it take ages for me to extract that, those photos, those videos from the iPhone to my Mac mini. So hopefully with a USB-C cable, especially on the Pro versions, the data speeds are gonna be faster. And if I do choose to save to an external storage device, then I can just transfer the data straight from that on to the computer. Then it's definitely going to be a lot quicker than having to do it via AirDrop on this, which is what I've been doing. That's my quick unboxing, my quick initial reactions to opening the iPhone 15 Pro. Stay tuned to the channel for more videos on this iPhone 15 Pro. I'm really looking forward to using it. I'm so, so excited. I feel like I've been, ever since the keynote, I've just been waiting for this day. iPhone, new iPhone day, that's today. And if you've got yourself an iPhone 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, let me know in the comments below what color did you choose for? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. Stay tuned for more videos just like this, and I'll see you in the next one.